but you're good at this shot. You know, you're a good wedge player. Of course, you have to be a little bit because, as you say, you're not the longest player out there. But we saw you hit some great wedges when you won at Oak Hill, of course. You know, the PGA. What is the first thing out of the gate you got to do to be, you know, a good wedge player? I mean, because you know, a lot of guys just they've got their swing. Is it a different swing? You know, we've heard like Tiger say that he he's trying to perfect this shorter swing. Do you have the same swing as your other clubs? No, it's a little different. I like to, uh, in my backswing, I like to stay really wide. My right arm stays really long so I can come in and get shallow. And I'm really specific about my trajectory and my spin. Trajectory controls distance and, and that controls your distance control, you know, where you can land the ball. Um, so the more spin on it, it's going to go lower. It's going to go lower. Lower. It's more ripping. spin, lower. Yeah. Now, the more spin on a driver, It'll go up because it's got more velocity, right? Right. Yeah, I like to hit little flat, little draws, have little variations off of that from time to time. But I like to have a little bit of this movement and a nice controlled trajectory because then I can control my distance. And I like to feel really wide and a lot of chest and big muscle movement. And I'm really trying to pinch that ball, compress it. And that one there is like a medium, that was a medium height with a little draw that just like... Like a 60% lob wedge, probably going about 60 to 70 yards. That thing would have stopped on the... That's ripping. That would have stopped on the freeway. 